What is cryptocurrency? Is a digital currency in which transactions are verified and records are maintained by a decentralized system using cryptography rather than a centralized oh. authority. Is it real money? It's real currency, and it's just unlike U.S. dollars, which are controlled by a central bank, that would be that central authority. In the world of cryptocurrency, there's a system that's used on a peer-to-peer -peer basis that keeps track of transactions. So, you know, in my definition, I said verified and maintained by a decentralized system of cryptography. You might ask, Mark, what the heck is cryptography? Yeah. The art of writing and solving code. So you can think of it as there's a puzzle that every time a transaction happens, kind of a math problem gets solved and that provides evidence in the, the blockchain of a transaction between two people. And there's no bank, there's no government entity that is a part of that transaction. It's just between two individuals that are connected on a network. So it's kind of like investing your money in a dollar, which is American, but you're investing your money in a currency that has no nation. It's all digital. And if tell me if this is right, the value of cryptocurrency fluctuates much more wildly than a dollar. In recent history, that's been true. The main thing that people either like or hate about cryptocurrency is that there's nobody that can monkey with it. With the dollar, you can have the Federal Reserve come in and print more dollars, and all of a sudden, your dollars are worth less because there's more of them. With most cryptocurrencies, that doesn't happen. So it's just whatever the, the free market has decided it's worth in terms of other currencies. So you might say, how much dollars is a Bitcoin worth? That's what it's worth that day. And that can change dramatically or not at all, just depending on what the market's doing. And if someone has their first thousand dollars that they're writing for the first time in their life to invest money, do you recommend that they put it in cryptocurrency? I tend not to make financial recommendations on YouTube, but I would say for myself, that would not be on my list of top 10 things I would do with my first thousand dollars to invest. Great. For more financial education, as well as inspiration and equipping for the biblical family leader, subscribe right now. You can do it right now to the Abraham's Wallet podcast. We're on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and your favorite podcast platforms.